Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. How are you doing? Well, you ever have one of those days where you say to yourself, what did I just get myself into? <laughs> well, I've got one of those days, I guess. This is my 2003 Ford Explorer, the Eddie Bauer series with a 4.6 V8. And I've had this exhaust leak on this side. Now, uh, probably about 10 or 15 videos back, I replaced the... Uh, manhole gaskets on that side it wasn't too bad i had a couple of bolts um, broke off into the head i managed to get them out by drilling them out and this is what i'm doing on this side i've gone ahead and taken out the uh, water bottle here uh, a couple things they have a little more excess down in here i'm gonna have to unbolt this guy here this is the um, heater control when you uh, control the heat on the inside this vacuum line uh, moves this guy back and forth right here and allows the coolant to get hotter or cooler going inside uh, the uh, heater core but here is what I'm up against uh, this is the exhaust leak that I had and if you look closely right there you can see I have a uh, manifold bolt broke off right there I actually that bolt was still in there I went to take it out and it came out but part of it's still in there and on the very bottom you can kind of see it there maybe Probably not. Well, right about there. Kind of hard to see, but there's another bolt in there that's broke off. Part of the stud is still in there, so uh, once I get this manifold off, I should be able to uh, get some vice grips and get that off. But regardless, I've still got a couple of bolts here to take off. The manifold bolts there on the flange. One of them came off, one of them broke off, which is no problem. I can just take my grinder and cut in here, cut a new stud. And if I ever have to uh, take this uh, exhaust system off, or if anybody ever does in the future, all they have to do is take a, a saber saw and just cut these off and replace them. Uh, but there are plenty of videos online on YouTube on how to do that. But I uh, just kind of wanted to show you what was going on here. These exhaust jobs are a pain in the butt. I got all the bolts out except one way back here in the back, and there's one right here that I need to take out. And I think you can kind of see it. Right, that rusty bolt right there. If I can hold the light and give you a finger here. Let's see. Back in here, right about there. I've got to get that one out, but the problem I have right now is this um, air conditioning pump. So I'm hoping if I can jack the engine up maybe a few inches, I can get in there and get that out of there. And I might be able to get it from the top up here. This is why I took out the water bottle and all that. And you can see some of the other bolts there. Uh, they're not all that bad. So uh, this is why I wish sometimes um, I don't do exhaust work <laughs> or I shouldn't be doing exhaust work because it is a job. Anybody that does this kind of work will tell you uh, it's uh, pretty tough sometimes, especially these uh, 4.6. They're all notorious about this. I don't care what 4.6 Ford engine you have or 5.4. They all run into problems with these bolts breaking off on the manifold. So eventually you'll hear a popping sound or a wheezing sound when you hit the throttle. That's because the gas is, uh, <clears throat> exhaust gas is leaking around those gaskets. Now also the other thing is, uh, the po whole point of me to actually make this video before I got too sidetracked, the EGR tube right here that goes into there, uh, I had no choice but to twist that off to get it out of there because uh, there is two pieces to it. And I wanted to show you uh, how I actually uh, got that off there. I took a, uh, a big old uh, thumb wrench, stuck on it, and I took a pipe wrench, and I just basically broke it loose from here as I stuck the pipe in there and got it off and broke it loose, and it came right out. And also, I took the inner fender out here. This makes it uh, a lot easier to get in here and do all this work, and it's actually laying... Let's see it right there. Get that plastic shroud out of there, that inner fender here. It makes it a, a lot easier to get in here to see these bolts and to get in there and work work with them. Now, um, I think you can see the EGR tube right there, what's left of it, above the light. And this particular EGR tube comes all the way up on the engine and comes out right here. There it goes. So if I can get this loose up here, I can get this whole EGR tube for about $20, free shipping, $25 on eBay. I'm not too concerned about it because anybody that uh, works on these know that 
the EGR tube is either rotted to begin with or is leaking and you have to replace it anyway. So I wanted to show you uh, something I did. Uh, there's two pieces to it. Okay, yep, we are looking at the back of my vehicle, I know. So uh, this is the what's the uh, left of the EGR tube. Now there's a nipple right here, that an adapter that goes in the manifold. Then this top of this EGR tube screws into. You cannot get these separated a lot of times. It's an, almost impossible unless you have a big vise or a press or something. I have a press over there, but it's not big enough for what, what I want to do. Uh, what I wanted to show you is if you have a tow bar on the back of your vehicle on your Explorer, and just about all of them do, get you a big old wrench like this. This is a uh, 15 16 Stick that on there like that. Shove that up in there like that. And the trick here is to get your big old socket stick in here like this to help hold this because without that socket, when you're trying to break this loose, it just spins around. But this socket will hold this. Get you a big old thumb wrench like this and break it loose. Now, in some, some uh, in cases, you may have to get a pipe. I have a pipe right there that I use to break this loose. And believe it or not, I actually got this off. It's still a little hard to turn. It's going, and I apologize if the camera's going out of focus. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get this off now. And this is the only way I could get this off now. If you notice, the whole thing is turning. And this is the problem you get into. It's almost impossible to get these EGR tubes off. And here is our nipple. This piece here is about $10 or $15 when you go to buy it. So this will uh, save a little money, and uh, at least this is a part. Now, when you're taking these off, if you can get a wrench on here to hold this, and when you're trying to take this off at the manifold, sometimes you can get lucky, and you can get this off. But most of the time, when you're trying to turn this guy here, this whole thing will turn, and there's not much you can do. And the whole key is to get a wrench on there that's really snug. But it uh, looks like I'm going to have to buy another one. So that's one way you can get this off. I just wanted to show you uh, if you have a trailer hitch on the back of your vehicle. Hey, use it as a vise sometimes or a, a clamp to help you out. So let's go back inside real quick. All right, so there it is. There's the adapter that goes up in here. And uh, let me grab my light real quick. And you can see this uh, screws right down here like this. And that's how that works. So, I don't know. I'll have to go get another jar tube. I was kind of bummed that I broke that. But these are the things you get into. Um, this is. I'll make another part of this video a little bit later. Let you know how I got this manifold off. Like I said, these bolts are all off, broken loose. They're fine. I've just got a couple more in the manifold. Uh, here's one that broke off in the uh, head. And I should be able to drill the rest of it out if I can get enough room with a drill. And there's the other one. So all these 4.6s, they are notorious for this. So if you really love your Explorer or your Expedition, if you really want to keep it then, you know, to get in here to replace these manifold gaskets, you're going to uh, wish you hadn't started the job sometime. So uh, I'm actually going to do this over the next couple of days. I uh, worked on it last night. I'm working a little bit today, today, and I'll probably work a little bit tomorrow. Maybe I'll get this manifold off, but when I do, I'll give you guys another look at it. I'll let you know how I got it off. And like I said, the biggest obstacle I got right now is that air conditioning pump, and you can see the manifold sticking right up there above it. That one bolt. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it off there. And let's see, do this one more time. Right there is the bolt. You can see it right there. And but my, matter by the way, matter of fact, these bolts are all half inch. Six six point, yeah. So, all right. So I guess I'll go take a long break and come back tomorrow or later tonight and finish taking this off and give you guys an update. So, if you're doing a four point six manifold job, just hang in there and uh, you'll slowly get it done. Just work away at it. So uh, that's it for now. Updates later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.